My name is Michael Strachan, I'm the author of the new edition of the IGCC Chemistry Practical Workbook for Cambridge. I'm Deputy Head Teacher here at Rep in Dubai and I teach science at the school. I'm passionate about science, I'm passionate about the universe, the universe is our classroom, understanding how the world works is something I've been interested in since I was about this big and having that passion is something I want to pass on, it's, it's a fire I want to kindle in the hearts of other, other children and so by being a, a science teacher I can instill the love of science in, in hundreds of children uh, that, I, that I teach and through doing the practical workbooks I can spread that beyond my own students to students around the world and so in my own very small way I feel like I'm helping science around the world get a little bit better. Science is notorious for practicals not working. Indeed, many science teachers shy away from doing practical work because of the unreliability of some practicals. And so by practicing in the classroom and, and seeing what goes wrong, what works well, it means that when I'm doing practicals, I'm very confident. If something goes wrong, I can deal with it fairly confidently. Um, but also it means that then um, when we write the materials for the practical workbooks, the, the, the methods for the teachers and the resources of the teachers are pretty much foolproof. That's the, the reason for testing L. And also to have the, the data. If an experiment goes awry and we haven't got any data, that could be a whole lesson wasted. Well, for a teacher with our practical workbooks, it doesn't matter if the experiment doesn't work because they can use the, the data and still complete the analysis and the evaluation sections of the workbook without any disruption to learning. One of the great things about working with the Cambridge University Press team is actually the learners and the teacher at the heart of everything that goes on. So absolutely supporting the learners in their journey all the way through from you know, the checkpoint sciences, IGCSE, GCSE, AS and A-level, um, and also for the, the teachers teaching across the spectrum. The support there is a, a central aspect of what CUP does. Science is, is a practical-based subject. All of the discoveries pretty much we've had in science going back for millennia have come from scientists tinkering around and doing practical work. Um, and so without having that experience, those skills will not be built in the next generation of scientists. Science isn't just about memorising facts from a textbook, it's about doing things, it's a practical subject. And so if you want to have the next generation of scientists going out there and discovering the next big thing, they need to have the practical skills to do that. And that's like here in the science lab. Um, so managing time is very difficult with practical work. Most teachers will tell you they struggle to complete everything in a syllabus in, in the given time, and practical work does require time to do. Therefore, some teachers will shy away from practical work because it will take a lot of time, and there's a risk there that if you spend lots of time doing practical work, that you won't cover the syllabus. What our resources do is, is they allow you to dip in and out of practical work. If there's a certain practical you don't want to do, you can still share the materials with the students, and they can have the experience of going through using the data and completing analysis and evaluation, they'll still gain those skills even if they don't physically do the work, but it also gives a really good scaffolding there for a teacher with the teacher's resources, if they're not confident or inexperienced, to actually really get into practical work and engage with it in a beneficial way for their students. That's why I try out the practical work I do in the workbook in my classroom with my students. In the following film, you'll see me demonstrate some of the experiments from the practical workbook and also meet some of my students as they engage in practical work.